Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Jamie with Originality AI. Originality AI is a plagiarism and AI content detector, boasting a 99% accuracy rating for its AI content detection. Welcome back to the channel, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be taking a look at writer.com's AI content detector, and doing a quick comparison between that and Originality AI's AI content detector. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our base case. So I've searched for the best cookware sets, and we're just going to take some of this content, probably this top content here, paste it into writer.com. And unfortunately, the restrictions of writer.com mean that we we can only use 1500 characters. So if I get rid of that bottom paragraph, analyze the text, and we've got 100% human generated content, which is great. All right, so now we will move on to our GPT-4 generated content. Okay, so here we are, and um, we're just going to ask it to write us an article for the best cookware sets. And I will skip to when this is finished. All right, so GPT-4 has finished generating its content. We will see how much of this we can actually use. Just take this here, back into writer. Okay, and we can use those first two items. Analyze this text. And it's given us a 40% human generated content. So I would say that that is accurate. It's given us, you know, it's a, a true positive, as in it has detected the fact that there is AI generated content. All right, for the next one, we'll make the prompt slightly more interesting. Okay, so for this one, we're just gonna have a slightly more involved prompt. So we're gonna ask it to write us an article about the bus cookware sets, write it like a human. This means to have a medium amount of perplexity and bustiness as well as using anecdotes. So I will once again skip to when this is finished. And once again, GPT-4 is finished. So we will just take this top section here, paste it into writer.com again. Okay, and this time it's given us a 100% human generated content, which is obviously completely inaccurate, as we can see that we got it from GPT-4 here. So now the next test that we're gonna perform is just with the paraphrasing. We're gonna use Quillbot for this one. So we'll take this first paragraph, paste it into Quillbot. Actually, let's take the other one. We'll take the other one as we know that writer.com was able to detect this as AI generated content. So we'll head into here and paraphrase this. Okay, a nice short paragraph. Let's see how it does. Paste it into writer. And it's given us a 98% human generated content for this one, which is obviously once again, inaccurate. And for the final test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into ChatGPT. We're gonna take our old prompt or the most recently used prompt and we're just gonna use ChatGPT 3.5 for this one. Okay, we're not going to wait for all of it to generate. As we know, we can only use the top ones. So let's paste that into there. Not even a thousand characters for this one. Let's try and grab a thousand. At least. Okay, that's a little bit better. And there's that text. Oh, and once again, human generated content. That's not great considering this is only the 3.5 model. All right, that was pretty unfortunate. Um, and now we'll just take a quick look at Originality AI. All right, so here we are on Originality AI. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our uh, base case. So select that text there. We're not gonna check for plagiarism and readability. And we can see that it's given this a 100% original, which is obviously accurate. Okay, and we'll just grab the first GPT-4 test. So I think we took the first two paragraphs from that one. Start a new scan. And it's given us a 100% AI. So writer.com did pick this one up as AI as well. So the next ones are gonna be the true tests. So we'll just grab the second one 
And for this one, we only took the first item here. Okay, and that's once again, give us a 100% AI. Okay, and the third test is the Quillbot. So we will grab that content. And paste it into here. Once again, 100% AI. And for the final test, the fourth and final test, we just have this uh, 3.5 content. And once again, for this one, we just grab the first item. Okay, and once again, 100% AI for originality AI there. So for writer.com, a couple of advantages are the fact that it's free. This is the first page that you get onto. You don't need to log in or anything like that. A couple of disadvantages, you can only do 1500 characters, which is a little bit unfortunate. I believe you can do 50,000 through the API, which is obviously much better, but that requires you signing up for account and stuff like that. Uh, obvious disadvantage is though the fact that it wasn't able to detect the AI generated content. In fact, I only got one of the four opportunities correct. So that's a 25% accuracy rate, which isn't particularly high. In fact, isn't very high at all. Um, overall, writer.com, it's free, which is great, but its accuracy is lacking. And then compared to Originality AI, Originality AI obviously costs money. Uh, but it's pretty reasonably priced at one cent per 100 words. We can also check for plagiarism and readability, which is a huge advantage. And in terms of this quick test here, it got 100% AI detection and obviously no false positives with that base case as well. All right, and that about rounds up the review for today. I've been Jamie with Originality AI. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.